We're fantastic. We're um, busy promoting our single Safe and the album that's coming out uh, very soon, which is called Gravity. Um, we've just spent sort of the last four months making it, um, starting from scratch with a blank sheet of paper and we ended up with an album we're very happy with and hopefully the fans will feel the same when they buy it. Starting from scratch. Marvin Aston Orishie, I can't say uh, Orishie. Orishie. Orishie, Marvin Aston and I don't know the knows on it? JB. JB. Oh, JB. JB. Hey, there you go. Uh, everybody in love. <laughs> no, I actually couldn't even name them. Everybody in love. You said that three times. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> no, but there's the, beat, there's the remix of it too. Beat again. Beat again. Beat again. What's the new single called? Um, love you more. Love you more. Love you a little bit more. No, that's another song. Love, love you more. Is it called Love more. You More? Love You More. I think. Yeah. Well it's a great song. Can you name the album? Allow. Uh, no. Allow us to be Frank. Allow us to be JLS. No. I it's called oh, Out of This World. It was good fun. You know, we weren't really partying with them. They were right beside us and we were having, you know, conversations and having a laugh and, you know, they were mainly on the dance floor, to be honest with you. If you're standing in a nightclub having a conversation whilst a drink, that's generally considered that, to be partying with the person. Yeah, but we were, what I'm saying is we weren't sitting at the same ta- table, you know, slapping high well, fives yeah, and knocking back shots. Kim was at the end well, of the day. Well, well, well then do you know Kim, what? Kim was sitting at every table. Right? I yeah. tell a black lie there and Kim I'm going to pass it on to Kane to, to finish this story. Kane now. actually did party. A good crack with him, yeah. Chipmunk was there as well, like, a good crack with him. Yeah. He was a funny, funny guy. He came over with his bottle of vodka and kind of topped myself and my wife up and and Mark's boyfriend, and then the four of us were up on sofas and stuff like that. You see, these guys are all kind of old. They go home nowadays. <laughs> I've seen them out a few times, and they're very, very nice lads. And they're they're very, lads. They're very, very down to earth, and um, they they're still remain to sort of give us compliments about our career and you know say that they aspire to be around as long as us and stuff, and they're very, very nice guys. We've done many weddings and oh, many, nice, many big charity parties. Um, I can't remember the last wedding we've done, actually. We don't, no, did we not do that one... In that we big house in the countryside in England. Yeah, we've done a lot. In the year off. Lot. That was that was after. Was that a wedding? No, that was a birthday party. We do birthday parties. Oh, yeah, it we've was. Done, we get asked, you know, to our Mark, tell them. <laughs> um, well, we haven't done a wedding since when we nice. Yeah, of course. I mean, we'd love to do any wedding. I mean, you know, whether that's, you know, I, I remember when there was rumours that Simon Cowley got engaged. Um... Everyone was saying, would we like to sing at his wedding? I think the answer is we'd like to go to any fabulous wedding and singing at it is an even bigger bonus, you know? His would be like a royal wedding, wouldn't it, Simon's? Probably, yeah. He would make it as royal as he possibly could. They were very, very good without Robbie, and now they're very good with Robbie. Robbie is Robbie. Robbie's very much Robbie, so it's basically... It's kind of like take that as we've known them for the last few years with Robbie Williams in it. So it's kind of both. You're almost getting the best of both worlds. So maybe it's better with them for that reason, you know. There's obviously loads of people in the middle who would have liked both take that and Robbie. But there's also some people that wouldn't have necessarily bought Robbie and they like take that and the same on the other side with Robbie. So they just got bigger, you know. Two acts that can sell out a stadium each and now they're selling out like two or even three stadiums, you know, together. So they're definitely bigger with Robbie anyway. I think they're absolutely brilliant at the minute and I think they're untouchable to anybody in any part of the world. Um, they're better than you. They, no, I don't think they're better than us. But I think they're they're certainly bigger than us and more successful than us. Uh, but better is a broad word. I think we couldn't sing Take That songs the way they sing theirs and they couldn't sing our songs the way we sing ours. I think when you get to a certain point... It, better or worse it's not really a case that it's like saying two kind of really attractive women which one's more attractive it's like there's a they're both attractive and that's all that matters we're, we're both I think attractive women <laughs> <laughs> but you know there's well we certainly respect like that they I've never really heard them mention us in interviews I'm sure they get asked about us maybe they just choose not to speak about it I do know that Gary and Mark have um came down to our concerts before Gary used to come down every single year um, before uh, to Manchester when we played Manchester and watch our gigs and stuff. Um, so there must have been some sort of you know like to Westlife that he had. But um, you know we we say we're asked about them in every interview and we say how much fans we are, which we genuinely are. But I've never actually heard them talking about us. It'd be interesting to see what they think. I of think us. the last three years though, um, they've been better than us. 
I think, you know, their songs and stuff like that. Up until this album, I think our songs on this album are pretty good as well. Um, but you can't compete against the hype. You can't compete against, like Mark said earlier, somebody like Robbie joining somebody like Take That and the whole thing becoming just enormous. Certainly some of the stuff they do, um, they certainly set an example. And we've certainly looked at that example over, over the past 12 months or 24 months and gone, and we've grown up as well and, and taken a leaf out of that book and gone, you know what, there's no point in... There's no point in just being led and said by um, your your label, so to speak. You need to be you need to become a man, and you need to just do what you want to do. Um, and obviously, take that are ten years older than us, um, but they seem to do what what I envy them about. They seem to do everything right, and they seem to have fantastic songs. Um, so we say we would be envious of them, but you know, envious in a good way, not jealous. I think when they came back, they they kind of upped the game, you know, in pop music, and it showed us that the, you know you can be better than than what you were um and they were better than they were before they you know before they split up so to come back that strong was great and it, it definitely reignited pop music again it reignited all these boy bands getting together all these boy bands getting back together like boy bands at the moment i think are so hot right now because of take that i think everybody is up their game um record companies are signing more boy bands look at one direction on the x factor you know it's it's the, it's probably the big hot tip for next year so I think take that are the reason that's happened. Um, so fair juice to them and, and best of luck to them. You know they're they're definitely flying the flag for for boy bands.